This video will serve as an introduction to the Dexalot subnet. Uh, we'll be going through the application itself as well as describing some of the changes that will come with the new Dexalot subnet. With the subnet, the idea is to have users pay lower gas fees by executing transactions on the subnet. Um, it's important to note that when you deposit funds from the mainnet to the subnet, the funds will remain locked in the mainnet until you withdraw your funds from the subnet. Now, once you reach the page and you've connected your wallet, you'll be met with this. On the left-hand side, you have a list of available trade pairs. And as you change which trade pair you select, the screen will update. To the right of that, you have the order book for the selected trade pair where you can see all the available buy and sell orders with their price and amount. In the center top of the page, you'll see a chart of the trade history. And on the right hand side, you'll see a uh, more detailed version of that same trade history. Now, most of your actions will be done at the center bottom of the page. There are four tabs. Those are trade, orders, portfolio, and transfers. Trade is obviously where you will put in trades. We'll go over that in more detail shortly. Orders is where you can view your open and closed orders. Portfolio is where you can see what funds you have available for trading. And transfers is where you can see a history of all your deposits and withdrawals. Now, right now, I am still connected to the mainnet or the uh, testnet, since this is a test version of the application. Um, and to deposit, you go to the portfolio and you can select the currency you would like to deposit and click deposit to subnet. Here you'll enter the amount you would like to deposit. We'll just do one for now. And you'll need to confirm any transactions um, with your wallet. It will give you a pop up. You'll see that a lot um, as there. We will be going through a lot of transactions. It should only take a couple seconds to get the receipt. And as you can see, uh, the funds have updated. Now, before you can start trading, you have to connect to the subnet itself. To do that, click up here and switch which network you're connected to. You'll get a pop up from your wallet. Um, and now from here, you can choose to deposit or sorry, withdraw to the main net or you can add and remove gas. What that does is it sends a lot to your gas tank, which is what you use. It's a place uh, designed to pay your gas fees in the subnet. All right, now we have the funds. We're ready to put in a trade. Now, when you go to the trade tab, there are limit orders as well as market orders, will be which will be coming soon. And you can put in the type of order. There's good till cancel, fill or kill, immediate or cancel, and post only. If you want more information on any of these, you can simply hover over the option and it will tell you what it is, but they're all fairly self-explanatory. Now let's put in a buy order at this price. You can select the price manually, or you can also click the price you want to put in at in the order book. We'll do 300 a lot, put in an order just to show you the process and what it looks like. Click confirm. And in a couple seconds, we'll get our receipt and you'll know that your order is in the order book because there'll be a little yellow dot next to your order in the order book. So you can always see where your orders are and the buy side or the sell side. Um, now, say you put in that order and you decide, uh, I don't really want to do that anymore. You can go to your orders tab where you can see the list of open orders and here you can cancel it or say you just want to change the price amount, any of those details, the type of order you can um, replace the order here, which uh, essentially just cancels it and puts in a new order, but it's all in one place to make it easier. Here you can also view the details of your order and you can also view all of your closed orders and you can inspect them further as well. Now portfolio again is where you would deposit and withdraw funds as well as fill your gas tank. And transfers is where you can see a detailed history again of your deposits and withdrawals. Now you can also click the transaction ID and it will pull up an explorer for that transaction. Um, but again, most of that information is here. You can go through that on your own later. That is a very quick, basic introduction uh, to the Dexalot application in use with our new subnet. 
uh, more detailed articles will be linked below that you can go through at your own leisure.